Next one, I'm going to discuss an important topic that is important in biochemistry, important for pediatrics, important for step one exam, important for, for step two exam. Everywhere for the lifetime as well as in the clinics, we need this. That is none other than lysosomal storage disease. So we are now the important lysosomal storage disease without any doubt. If any question comes, we can we should answer it. First one, let's talk about Tay Sachs disease. So what you have to know in Tay Sachs disease? First of all, the important point you have to know here: what is the enzyme deficiency here? Remember, the enzyme absent here is hexosaminidase A2. The enzyme hexosaminidase A2 is absent here. If this enzyme is absent, what will be accumulated? There will be accumulation of gangliosine GM2. Remember, here the enzyme absent is hexosaminidase A2 and accumulation of gangliosine GM2. Next one, what you have to remember, what is the clinical symptom they will give you? The baby will have cherry red spot in macula. Cherry red spot in macula. Other thing they used to give, this disease is very common in Ashkenazi Jews. It's a group of people in Israel. So sometimes they use start with the question Ashkenazi Jews. Very important. So that only you have to remember about Tay Sachs disease. And remember, they never cause hepatosplenomegaly. No affection of spleen or liver. Now, that is all about Tay Sachs. And there is no mental retardation, no mental changes. Second one is very important, like Tay Sachs, we have Niemann Picks disease. Niemann Picks disease. Remember Niemann Picks. What is the enzyme absent here? The enzyme is Spingomyelinase. So, what will be accumulated? There will be accumulation of Spingomyelin. Remember one important thing here. Here, like in Tay Sachs, the baby will have cherry red spot. So maybe you will confuse. Is that disease Tay Sachs or Neiman Pick? So what other differentiating factor they will give us? Here, there was no hepatosplenomegaly. Sure, here baby will have affection of liver and spleen. They will have hepatosplenomegaly. There is some other keywords they used to give here. They will be foam cell. Historically, the cells are called foam cells. And they will used to give zebra bodies. Foam cells or zebra bodies. So remember, if you see any of this thing, think about Neiman Pix. Cherry red spot is common for Tay Sachs and Neiman Pick. How you differentiate? No hepatosplenomegaly here, but hepatosplenomegaly is present here. And the baby don't have mental retardation here, but the baby have mental retardation in neurological symptom is Neiman Pick's disease. That is an important clinical factor you differentiate between Neiman Pick and Tay Sachs. Now, next one is the third disease that is very important. We have two types of disease. One is called Hunter's, other is Harless. Hunter's disease and Harless. You can see name looks similar. How you differentiate this? First of all, in Hunter's disease, the enzyme absent is uduronate sulfatase. The enzyme absent uduronate sulfatase. Remember, there will be accumulation of Dermatan sulfate. See how you remember, you know hunting, right? 
people go for hunting like hunting elephant uh, hunting giraffe no hunting whatever you want you will go and hunt it so in hunting we have a target what is the target now we are medical students we have a target i should reach here so that's why we all are studying now so this hunting means they will have a target so remember hunter is x linked x linked recessive why i specify here because all lysosomal storage diseases are autosomal recessive but hunters is x linked remember before i taught you in some other videos hunters comes under x linked recessive so remember x is a mark target so they are x linked recessive next thing there is a clinical symptom for hunters and hurlers you, are, you can differentiate there is something called corneal clouding so they will ask where is corneal clouding present and where is absent how you can remember if i am a hunter i should see the animal properly then only i can hunt even while seeing i cannot hunt properly imagine if i i am blind and i am going for hunting is that okay no never so remember in hunter there is no corneal clouding hunter means no there should not be corneal clouding no corneal clouding but hurler hurler the enzyme is little different enzyme absent is l iduronidase and what is accumulated here again dermata sulfate but what is the difference this is autosomal recessive and here they will give you corneal clouding so here this are no need of funding so no problem they will have what corneal clouding this is how clinically you differentiate hunters and hurler in hunter no corneal clouding but in hurler there will be corneal clouding and hunter is x linked recessive very important now next disease so we have studied four diseases remember autosomal recessive autosomal recessive but hunter is x linked recessive autosomal recessive all the lysosomal storage diseases are autosomal recessive except hunter one more is there fabris so next one let's go to next disease that is fabris disease so i am going i am raising this so we are going to the fifth disease of lysosomal storage that is called fabris disease fabri fa fa very easy remember enzyme fa alpha once again fa alpha fa alpha or alpha galactosidase a the enzyme absent is fabri alpha fa alpha fa fa so remember something like that and what is accumulated here there is something called ceramide trihexose ceramide trihexose very important so fabris disease is alpha galactosidase a deficiency and what is accumulated ceramide trihexose one more thing you remember here this is a second disease that is x linked recessive so remember for the lifetime all the lysosomal storage diseases are autosomal recessive except two disease one was hunters we already studied other is fabri fabri is also x linked recessive now next disease that is very important and the last one not last one we have two more sorry one is called gaucher's disease gaucher's gaucher's disease is very important here the enzyme deficiency is glucocerebrosidase glucocerebrosidase so what is accumulated glucocerebroside glucocerebroside will be accumulated what they given the question here histologically they will have a appearance called wrinkled paper appearance wrinkled paper or they will give you in the question tissue paper appearance tissue paper so when you see this in the question think about gaucher's disease this is autosomal recessive what is enzyme glucocerebrosidase deficiency what is accumulated glucocerebroside now next one very important disease that is last one crab's disease you know crab right we used to eat crab flavor lays crabs or crab something crab's disease remember here the enzyme deficiency is beta galactosidase beta galactosidase deficiency leads to 
Krabs disease. Remember, so what is accumulated? Galacto cerebroside. Galacto cerebroside. Sometime in the question, they used to give globoid cell. Globoid. So if you see globoid cell in the question, think about Krabs disease. What is enzyme deficiency? Beta galacto cerebrosidase. Once again repeating, these are very high yield. High yield means every competitive exam, you will have one question from lysosomal storage disease. So we studied here seven type. All the seven type, remember, out of that only two are x linked recessive. All others are what? Autosomal recessive. What are they? One is Fabry, other is Hundes. What are the seven diseases? First one we start with the sacs Remember exosomerase A2, other things, GM2, acc accumulation, cherry red spot. Second one was Neiman pick, sphingomyelinase deficiency. Think about foam cells, think about zebra body, think about hepatosplenomegaly, think about mental retardation. Third one we studied here, hunters, hunters for hunting, X linked recessive, there is a target and there is no corneal clouding. Yeah, it is X linked recessive, hurler and there will be corneal clouding, autosomal recessive, L idorinase deficiency. Then we said about Fabry, Fa, Alpha, Alpha, Galactosidase A, what is accumulated? Ceramide, Trihexose. Then it is also x recessive. Gauchers, Enzyme Deficiency, Glucose, Cerebrosidase, Tissue Paper or Wrinkled Paper Appearance, Crab Disease, what is Enzyme Deficiency? Beta, Galactose, Cerebrosidase. Remember, you will see globoid cells in the question. That's all, all about lysosomal storage disease. Thank you.